Alrighty, my super fam, Cheska is finally here and uh, hopefully you guys have been able to pull for her. Good luck if you haven't already. But basically, since yesterday, I've tried my best to build Cheska as fast as I can so that I can actually test her out to make this a video for you. And finally, I got her, I built her up and tested out so many different team comp for Cheska, which is a pretty unique character. Obviously, we're going to discuss more about the team comp later on, but I love how Cheska is a character because honestly speaking, she has the ability to be on many different team comps and do interesting reactions so i've been enjoying her a lot which leads us to today's video obviously as usual we're going to be looking into many different team comps some of the best available out there for you guys to play around with chaska so hopefully you can pull off the best potential of her on your specific account depending on which character you have and enjoy her to the best of your ability chaska is here and hopefully you've won your Ooh, but if you haven't and would love to have some more luck then don't forget to check out loot bar with their help i actually got chaska in my first 10 pool on my 50 50 by getting an increased luck if you know me i've been recommending you guys loot bar before since you can always save almost a 20 percent on all of your top ups with over a hundred thousand orders and so many good reviews at this point you can be sure that loot bar is trustworthy here you can see my order receipts of all of my top ups that i have done so guys be sure to check out loot bar through the link in my description as it can be a great way for you to save your money especially if you are topping up a large amount So first off, a little bit about Chaska, some important note for you. Like honestly, for Chaska as a character, I don't really see too much of a problem toward her. More like, you know, her design as a character is pretty much set. And for me personally, I think she's a fine character. Now, how you play her is basically charge up her bullets and her bullets conversion is going to be depending on the element of your party members on top of having some of your anima bullet. Now, I I've basically already explained this a little bit in terms of some of my previous previous video so i don't think i need to go through that again and i'm sure most of you have already understand but basically overall her bullet conversions is technically random most of the time all you should be able to understand is that whichever element your party has basically over six round is going to do some of those elements now the elemental reaction of chaska is obviously going to be pretty much random as well so she feels like a gacha character at times as the elemental reaction is pretty much going to be mambo jumbo whenever you use her and so sometimes you're going to see your clear time with chaska is a lot faster than some other times and some other times it might be a, sl a lot slower depending on whether or not you get a good vaporize or you yeah, melt off of her which is obviously something to take note of that however you know after playing her a lot chaska as a dps character actually is doing very very well i'm not even lying like she actually has the capability to dish out very very good number now she's technically not an animo dps even though she is an animo character so character you know like farzan is not going to be able to buff chaska really that well but she's more or less you know a multiple elemental character using you know electro hydro pyro and cryo depending on your team right but her bullet number capability is really decent not to mention her gameplay honestly speaking guys she's probably one of the easier character out there as well like on a serious note i'll probably rank her just behind Novelet. like I'm, I'm very much honest guys and maybe sometimes she can even be easier than Novelet. because here's the thing Novelet is a character that yep charge attack do your hydro cannon and then deletes the enemies right very very easy however he sometimes even get knocked back now for chaska the only thing you need to do is press your aim button she's going to charge up your six bullet and she's going to automatically shoot those six bullet whenever she fully charges as well the only thing you need to do is to aim at your enemies that's the only thing which is something you also need to with a novelette now she can get interrupted however she's a character that flies up in there that is pretty high in my cases of after testing her for a very long time i don't think i actually got knocked back once and neither did i actually have to dash and that's me going pretty much through the abyss this time around now the abyss this time around is made for her uh, you know she will do more damage however you know some of the enemies does move around decently and they do attack quite a bit however i don't get hit most of the time or neither do i see chaska get knocked back so the only thing i need to do whenever i'm in her rotation is i need to aim and then shoot 
and then end her rotation and that's pretty much it. So I'm really not even kidding when I do say that she's a very easy character to play. Now, I don't know if it's really the case on mobile because well, once again you do need to charge but I don't think it's really that hard either because the only thing you do is need to aim and she will shoot automatically for you. Her flying around mechanic is so busted in Natlin. She's literally able to fly for a very very long time that honestly some of the part of the newer region feels a lot easier to traverse around whenever you have chance so that's i think that's a really nice plus to it but overall her as a character feels very nice to play it wasn't as bad as it seems whenever we were in her pre-release now that we get to test her out i think i really like her as a character and obviously the diversity in terms of her team comp really breathes a lot of life into a very unique character like chaska which is why we're going to be moving into her team comp section right here so discussing a little bit about team comps now i know that there are many your content creator out there would say that her team comp is slightly strict at this point and i would say both a yes and no first off yes is because she is very much reliant on character like bennett and furina looking into overall her best team furina and bennett are going to be the two characters that is very much set in stone for a chaska team they are very very helpful for her mainly because she's a charge attack character so she won't be able to trigger off field sub dps character like you know, yeylan and singcho those kind of sub dps right so she has to rely on sub dps character that automatically do the damage for her you know like farina yaimiko and aurora in this case however you obviously can mix and match as a while which is why we have this part of the video now overall the first best team for chaska i think you guys would probably already guess it is going to be bennett farina and aurora now depending on how much invested your yaimiko or your official is they can technically also replace aurora because mainly the only thing that's aurora is overall good at on a chaska team is going to be giving her the cinder city buff however sometimes it's also not that reliant for aurora to use it as well because you know once again the elemental reactions on chaska team is rather weird but still he will still be able to trigger it more or less many of the time but for my account for example if i were to have you know, yai miko at a higher constellation and obviously i just use yai miko over all around because obviously she's going to do more damage so honestly that's going to be depending on your account now obviously again bennett and furina have two very important characters bennett to buff amazing attack for chaska and obviously to heal your team as well furina very very amazing character on her team being able to deal sub dps damage and also increase the damage of your team which is why they are a very very valuable duo now further than that this team also has three different characters for chaska to be able to utilize her passive talent to maximum of her ability which is having a 65 percent damage increase rather nice now obviously depending on how much invested your other team may be and your team build sometimes you don't always have to get the maximum stack of her passive for your team to be good which leads us to our next team and we're going to be starting and matching teams a little bit here which we're going to be touching on a cryo hydro team or more or less going to be a freeze team for chaska which is going to be using farina shanha and basically a charlotte here on this team now on paper you may think this team or you know freeze team overall is pretty much dead leading to this team not being that good however guys honestly speaking this freeze team didn't actually do that bad compared to her first team because i've also cleared the abyss in pretty much similar timing more or less only i think around three to five second difference now sometimes in the abyss that might make a difference but overall since i've got a lot of time to spare left i don't think that's too much of a difference here the biggest change is definitely going to be shanha as a character now, overall on paper you may think that shanha won't be able to buff chaska really that much however after testing her out i think shanha rotation actually fits with chaska pretty well is that shanha biggest buff is going to be her quotes and the maximum number of quotes she's going to be able to give is going to be seven quotes which is interestingly aligns with her hold e skill options and her hold e skill options actually also buff a 15 percent damage increase for chaska charge attack not to mention on top of you know, her passive talent or her elemental burst being able to give resistant shred as well as damage increase to chaska overall that is really really nice and her quotes even though it only gives seven she should be able to buff fully at least two of chaska bullet reloading and depending on the bullet randomization she will still be having technically enough quote to buff chaska's third bullet rotation as well which 
you know, technically it's already one of Chaska's full rotation. Now, the only thing is that most of the time she won't be able to buff Chaska elemental burst. But overall, I think that's fine considering Shanha actually buffed really, really well here. And then other addition to the team is going to be Charlotte. I'm using Charlotte because she's one of the fewer characters out there that have access to your whole team healing, which is really nice for a Furina team. And obviously, she's going to be giving you Cryo Resonance, which gives you an extra 15% crit rate, though Chaska don't really need that many of crit rate. But overall, that's going to be a nice addition. So overall, this team is actually really nice to play, guys. If you do have a Shanha on your account, test it out. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be rather surprised. Up next, you can mess around with an Overload Chaska team a little bit, you know, running alongside with Bennett, Shangling, and either a Roron, and once again, either a Yaimiko, depending on how much you have invested. Now, once again, Overload Reaction, even though they have buff, it's not something that you always want to focus on. And moreover, Overload is best if you're using in a single target situation, because usually that is a little bit more easier for you to play around with. It's also a very easy team to play around, right? I didn't really have much trouble playing around with the team and overall the clear time for the abyss when i'm using this team is rather good also now another very interesting team is going to be a team where you run alongside bennett shanha and furina now looking into this these three characters basically focusing on insane buff for chaska i've been really interested to test this team out ever since her pre-release info and boy i would say it did not disappoint me because this team also is one of her best team out there with really good clear time considering how much of a buff Chaska actually gets. Now the main problem with this team is technically going to be energy regen. So many of the time Bennett on your team already has a Favonia sword depending on how much you have invested into your Furina and Shanha. I know that many of you who don't have you know Furina signature weapon you're also going to be using a Favonia sword so overall that's not going to be too much of an energy recharge problem then. But if you are running both Shanha and Furina signature weapon you're gonna have to be mindful about energy regen a bit so that you can have a proper rotation with this team other than that you can run with an electro charge team with you know Rina, kokomi and uh, yaimiko depending on your team build but honestly this is one of the worst of the team because of course you technically need a healer to be on the final slot right so if you're trying to use an electro character looking for a healer you only have kuki shinobu and while kuki is not really recommended this team he's rather safe in the hyper bloom team so what's left is going to be pretty much a kokomi right because kokomi have access to thrilling tales of dragons as well so she can technically buff chaska with that and also heal and apply more hydro application for chaska but still the clear time in this team isn't good moreover you're going to be having to invest in a lot of your five star characters so yeah i don't really recommend this team too much but there are also other considerations many of you have been asking it's going to be to what kazia and shilonen how are they going to be on this team now if you want to use kazia I think he's a fine character too in terms of buffing your elemental bullet for Chaska. So you can run her alongside with Kasia, Bennett, and Farina, right? Those kind of team. Still going to be a very much invested team, but the clear time overall, I still find it very, very good. Same for Shilonen as well. However, you know, if you do have the character to spare, then I think it's fine. But flying Kasia and Shilonen in a Chaska team feels a little bit wasted considering that you still have another team to build for the Abyss. So many of the time, I just recommend you to save these character for your other team unless you really really do not have any other good support character for you to slot in Chaska team but overall guys most of this team here that I've discussed here in this video will be able to help you have a very good Chaska team for her to run in specifically the abyss and clear other content because I've already personally tested out and clear the abyss with the specific team myself as I've mentioned before Rina and Bennett are technically very much locked character on her team Team. So if you're missing out on these characters, it's a little bit hard to build her team around. So obviously, hopefully in the future, we have more and more sub DPS characters that will be able to help Chaska in this case so that we can expand her team build. So guys, I think those are going to be some of the best Chaska team comp that I have to share with you right now. I know that there can be multiple other variety of teams that you guys maybe have been able to test out. So feel free to leave it down in the comment section as I love to discuss team comp with you there. Now, if you're trying to pull for Chaska or any other character or, you know, more is probably going to be coming up don't forget to check out loot bar as i'm sure they will be very helpful to you if you're new to the channel guys don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on my future Kenshin videos with that i wish you a super day and i'll catch you on my next video